This video is sponsored by Squarespace. today so I'm gonna run down a little bit of the plan so I'm gonna bring this forward I'm gonna fix some cable management we're gonna swap out my mount with a singular bar it sucks because the original plan that I had for these like how cool would it be to stick them in the middle and have them kind of be parallel like this like I just wish that these were individual lights or not these ones specifically but we had lights that were individual that still work the same way as like goby lights because this could look really cool and even with this like I thought it would be interesting to have them mimic the shape of the cork boards. I got this mount, this gooseneck that I'm going to mount my webcam to the top of it because once I moved in here I just never hooked up my webcam so my co-workers literally haven't seen me in like a month. So I also bought white spray paint but I didn't realize I totally forgot like this bends so the paint is just gonna crack. I want to be able to just like tuck it behind my desk and then pull it out maybe from the side if I ever need it. Once my desk is pulled out we're gonna add the RGB strip today so it's gonna go along the back and underneath. I have to clean my room. It's just gotten so chaotic. I've just been like shoving things behind. Um, and we've got this BenQ monitor that I'm really excited to open. It's 4K, 144 Hertz, I believe, and it's all white at the back. So I am very excited. We're gonna swap this out with my big monitor, test it out for a bit. I might give it to Colin um, just because the ultra wide is pretty ideal for work, but I'm really excited to play with this for a bit because 4K, 144, yes. So what I've noticed about the Mobius BenQ monitors is that each one comes with a remote. The previous Dying Light version that I got also came with one. It has like a little control panel on the monitor itself to change the settings, but it's also cool that sometimes those can get tricky or annoying to work with. So they give you a tiny remote to combat that. You got your volume knobs, can choose what mode you want, your input, and then you can bring up all the settings here like brightness and whatnot. You got your standard cables. We have an HDMI. It's a freaking fly in here. I have no idea what these ones are called, but it's like the blue, your display port cable, and then your power cable. And we've got the stand here. It's got some red on it as well. Oh, it's kind of like a, they're kind of striped. Cool. Actually a lot going on. So we've got two HDMIs, one display port. We've got that random cable, I have no idea what it's called. And then you actually have four USB ports and you got your microphone jack as well. And then this is your power cable. Heavy duty, feels really nice quality. A little bit of cable management for you as well. It's like a matte white finish, really nice honestly. And it comes with built-in sound by Trivaldo. So we've got your power and then your options to control and this is like a little analog stick. All right, I just made this my main speaker so now let's play some music and see what they sound like. So this is halfway, it only goes up to 50 and this is at 25 right now. And this is at 50. It's pretty good, especially if you don't have speakers, these will 100% suffice. They definitely sound like an improvement from the previous monitor that I have from them. I get asked a ton about what I use to display my portable monitor. It is this guy from Amazon. You can see that it's super adjustable. I have this linked in my links URL that is found in the description. Just go to the monitor section. Okay, I hate doing this part. <laughs> I saw my monitor shelf like sink a bit, so it might be too heavy. I've got the remote. Brightness. So we were in, oh, that was cinema mode. Okay, you can see the difference, right? This is standard. This is game mode. So I'm gonna leave it on standard. We've got game mode. So we can switch between FPS game, RPG, racing game. Then there's HDRI. So right now it's off. This is display HDR, cinema and game. Like very contrasted. Okay, let's play with some wallpapers. Whoa. This is so crisp. 
I also haven't had a 4K monitor in a very long time and this looks super, looks super good. I'm just gonna try and find one that's very, oh, the greens look really good. One of my favorites. And obviously in person, everything's a bit more bright and vivid, but keep that in mind. Let's check the viewing angle. So I'm gonna bring you around. Honestly, pretty good. I'm gonna say in person, it's about twice as vibrant. Uh, like in person, there's way more yellow. The yellow is way more prominent, but it looks really, really good. Like this is a beautiful monitor. I am a graphic designer for my full-time job. That's what I do working every day. So I need a really good monitor for color accuracy, for just design in general. And I can't lie, I think I'm gonna be switching. Am I, I love my ultra wide so much, but for my job, I'll try and see if I can and incorporate both monitors. Colin's gonna hate me because he really wanted to try this out, but like it is, it's beautiful. I'm also noticing, don't mind my reflection, it's so hard on camera, but the blacks are very, very rich. Games probably look incredible on this. Okay, I'm excited to play a game. It's so weird seeing my setup only have one smaller monitor. Why do I like this? Like what's wrong with me? This is so the opposite of my setup, but just how low it is down there. I like it, I like it a lot. Hey, before we continue, I just want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace makes it super easy for creators like me to monetize their content straight from their own website. Choose from one of their free templates and customize it to your needs using their easy to use drag and drop page builder. I've been building websites since I was 13 years old and Squarespace has made the entire process so much easier and user friendly for newbies to give it a go. Let's say you're a streamer. You'll be able to embed your previous stream videos, display your social feeds, and offer exclusive content to your members for either a reoccurring fee, a fixed fee, or even just for free. They also have tools if you sell stickers or merch, which allow you to connect your printing service directly to your site. So if you've always wanted to create your own website, then head to squarespace.com for a free trial by clicking my link in the description. When you're ready to launch your site, because you used my link, you'll get an extra 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this video. When I tell you I am so excited for this, think bigger than that. Think even more, go above that because Secret Lab sent me their latest chair. It's in their soft weave fabric and it is inspired by the very Perry Pantone color of the year, which is my favorite color. I was actually featured and collabed with Pantone along with Govi. Once they announced the color of the year, they asked me to make my entire setup that color. So the fact that they reached out to me for this shade, for this new color, inspired by that is like, I can't, I still can't wrap my head around it. So let's open it up. So I forgot to mention, it's not actually called Very Perry, obviously. It's called Soda Purple, but it's very much so inspired by Very Perry, by Pantone. I've never had one, but my cousins and even my uncle all have one and they absolutely love them. Oh, it's so pretty. This is our pillow. This feels like an expensive memory foam. This alone, like it's heavy. Normally I don't use these, the lumber pillows, because they're not actually comfortable. Sometimes they're just hard, fake leather stuff to the brim, but this is, because it's memory foam, this is way more comfortable where I don't feel like I'm gonna stick out too far with my back. A little difficult if you're small like me, but it's fine. I figured this out. P.S. I highly recommend you check out their other 2022 shades because look at them, they're beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Now once we've done that, it's telling us that we can remove the recline strap. I doubt myself. Like everything else, they label things. So this is the left side. Okay, that's super straight. Look, wait, wait, wait. aren't these magnetic? Cause I can feel something in it. <gasps> wow, that's strong too. Look at that. So I'm short, so I'm gonna say mine's probably around there. 
Look, I love my ergonomic chair. I think they're so great, but I feel like this just completes my setup. Look at that. I kind of felt like my setup was becoming less gamer, less RGB, and it was kind of making me sad. I'm trying to overcompensate with all the lighting, but this, I feel like this just makes it again. some people are gonna ask about the comfort level it is more on the firm side but I prefer that I want that kind of support I'm getting older I sit at my computer all day however chairs do break in I still find it really comfortable even though it is firm but secret lab not only do they have amazing themes they also have really cool plushy pillows that you can customize for your back and your lumbar support I have a straight monitor again and not a curved one I can put a monitor light bar back on this is by BenQ and I'm pretty sure it's their pro model but I'll link it down below this is the webcam I use it's by anchor BenQ monitor light fits perfectly on a BenQ monitor. I am so excited to have this back. You do not understand. If you watched my previous video, you will know that this is what I talked about because I desperately need one. And boom, already. I know it's not so very dark out, but... Ah! Oh! So this is more warm toned, more cool toned, and this is the setting to dim it. Yay! Look at the difference that it makes. Who knew that adding light to your actual desktop with your keyboard and your mouse would just look this good? Love, 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 love. So it's been a couple days, it's the weekend now. I'm just kind of mapping out some ideas for the setup because I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I should do another L shape and then I don't wanna show you guys my window but where the L shape would be, maybe that would be like an unboxing area or I could display some more keyboards. I don't have a ton of space to work with. If you see my sketch, I can only really have something that's like 16 inches wide and then the, the length is kind of up to whatever I want but I don't know how this would work. So I'm gonna take a look at Ikea right now and see if there's anything worth getting that could potentially make this again. I mean, I guess I would only really need a tabletop because I would be using my old Alex drawers as support, but then that means potentially these won't align, but I've honestly been meaning to get new. Look how bad my cable management. That's pretty much what it's been for a while because I'm making new changes to the setup, so there hasn't really been a point to take everything down, but like it is struggling. My power brick is just way too heavy now, but I've been meaning to get new new legs lately. I'm just not totally happy with how they look and I still just have a fear that they're gonna collapse at any moment. So I think today is like a, a retail therapy kind of day. I'm gonna look at some legs. I'm getting a bookshelf for my keyboards and just any storage that I have. And then also I'm gonna try and look for a new tabletop. Book update. So I am going with the L shape. I bought a new tabletop, just a kind of small one. And then I'm just gonna repurpose my Alex drawers to be the support. And then I got a new shelf to put all of my keyboards and my books and then this is just for the shelf at the very bottom. So Gobi sent me their new Glide Hexagon Pros. I have the first generation of the Hexas where it's not 3D, they're just like flat hexagon panels. So I'm really excited to try these because it adds some texture, it adds some depth. And if you saw my previous video, you'll know that I've been wanting to add a, a light strip to the very back of my desk to brighten it up or potentially even underneath my desk. So they were awesome and sent me an extra RGB strip because I go through these like crazy since I'm constantly moving and doing things to my setup. So over time they just stop sticking. So this one is 16 feet. So honestly, I think I can wrap it behind behind my desk and even underneath, so this is perfect. Thank you, Govi. I feel like this got smaller, which is nice because I think I had quite a few of these that were like three times the size. I've been seeing these everywhere since they came out, so I'm really curious how they look in person. So they're slightly heavier than the original Hexas. Let me see if I can find one for reference. So this is the new version, and then this is the original. So they are the exact same size. Honestly, the same thickness. 
except this just is a little bit of a different material on top and it's 3D. It's actually like raised. I'm curious if these have improved with the color. I mean, the hexes were already really bright and vibrant. So I'm curious if these are pretty much the same, just a new 3D feature or if they've kind of improved on everything. So the pack comes with 10, just like the original hexes. You've got the sticky on the back, which I don't like to use because these will absolutely ruin my walls. And you have the classic Gobi connection structure where it's numbered. Honestly, the first time I ever did this without the app, it was so confusing. I had to keep redoing it multiple times. But if you go through the step-by-step -step wizard on their app, it's so easy to connect them. And then once you do it a couple times, you really get the hang of it. Okay, I have to finish working. So I'm gonna play with these later. I will see you guys soon. So they're almost the same size which is really cool because I think I think I want to try and incorporate them around the only thing is I don't have a ton of space width wise on my wall so I can't like only put two in this corner one here so I've got to figure this out but I think this has potential to be really cool I might just take them off and re-put them on uh, and come up with a different design okay now here's the big question what am I gonna do with these <sighs> to the drawing board I think we're gonna start here. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna kind of loop around. Quickly fix them because I noticed that these three weren't facing upwards like the others. So that was just a quick one. And I, my original idea was up like this and then back up, but this looked too empty. So I brought it back down and then I'm gonna make it go back up and a little bit over. Okay, finished product. Please confirm. Yes, they all look good. Cute. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, listen to all you folks who say I have an overkill RGB setup. Hey, take a look at this. <laughs> the 3D cube look is so different different and unique and I think it really gives it some dynamic movement. Cute! It's just not as dark anymore which is amazing. We are losing daylight so I'm excited to see what it's going to look like with everything on. So these ones that I'm going through right now are the standard. They're like the natural category. There's a new 3D category with the presets that I just showed you. But and so these are the standard that come with like all Gobi lights. gonna put up some posters I totally forgot that I had these and temporarily until I can find some nice artwork I'm just gonna put them right there burger for dinner or something because I'm, tr I'm trying to eat before I leave all right right yeah. I guess I could put the attachment right at the top but this still doesn't feel tall enough, unfortunately. Okay, so this would raise my monitor currently. I think about that much. I think the, actually, I think the mount is like right there. I also don't love how it kind of comes up over the bed cube. Mm, that's not that bad, but. Mm. You can just like, the white and the black don't really work together. So guys, I realized I never really filmed an outro. It is so messy right now and we still have a ton to do. Tomorrow the Ikea order is coming with the L-shaped desk stuff. So we can finally cable manage and we can really just clean this up. And as you can see now, it looks way more balanced in this corner, which I normally shoot from this angle anyway, but I still have no idea what I would put there. I do not like the orientation of the Gobi hexas. And if you can see, there is this. This one has fallen off every single time I have put it on the wall. I don't know 
why this particular one clearly it has to do with the the cables but it's also ripped off a piece of my wall you can't see but it's being covered right now so we've got a lot more to do but this is where I'm leaving it off so the next time you see my room it'll probably look a lot different I have some spray paint to do some cool DIYs and I'm excited to show you guys the new update in the next video so thank you so much for watching